Oh man, look at this. This is bad. How am I gonna fix this? YouTube Genie, can you fix this? Ah. YouTube Genie, can you put hair on my head? Oh yeah. Perfect. YouTube Genie, it's fake! Welcome to the Righteous Builds YouTube channel. As you saw in the intro, we had a bit of bad luck. Let's take a look. Okay, let's have a look. So once again, this is my fault. Now it was so tight in there that I did, I did have to clearance this, but um, <laughs> let's do a little bit of investigation. Definitely had something uh, moving around in there. That's pretty heavy gauge aluminum and there was enough motion and vibration that whatever was moving around, in fact, I think I see it down here, here in the bottom. Yeah, you can see that. This is the weight that the passive radiator uses to lower the FS. And then you have these discs that are on there. What it appears that happened is that this thing came back and smacked the magnet, bent the rod that holds the discs on. You can see the evidence is all over the place. Broke this piece off. <laughs> You can see how much force this thing has, how much pressure is being applied to the interior volume here. There's a lot of pressure going on and it says a lot about this driver. This thing creates a ton of pressure. Um, you can see there's a little bit of, a little bit going on with this one too. Um, not sure if that's showing up on camera, but you can see that it has dented this little bit here too. Let's have a look at what's going on with this one. This one seems to have fared far better with just a little bit of denting. This one could actually be reused. Now I did order three new ones. Um, Oh, you know what? No. No, the spider is torn off. Check this out. Can we see that? Complete separation. Complete separation. <laughs> wow. And uh, there's a little bit of a souvenir on the driver to let us know that, yeah, we shouldn't have things in such close quarters. Let's set that aside with the other one. So, but again, I did order three new ones. Why three? Because two was not enough. So I'm gonna make use of this blank panel here, but we are still going to answer the question, can we go subsonic with authority? Now, I am gonna show you some screenshots. I did get some testing done, and that'll come up in just a minute here, but it went all the way down to 20 hertz with good authority and had a good flat curve all the way up to uh, around 60 hertz. Let's pull that driver out, make sure everything is okay there. I didn't see any damage on the driver again. Great driver. And it sounds good too. You guys will see.
We have all three holes cut, ready to install the passive radiators. Let's see if three does better than two. Got some parts hanging out from the last ones. I don't know if I got this very good on video, but you saw this pretty well destroyed. Yeah, lots of carnage in there. I'm still making some sawdust on this thing. I've got these wooden rings done now. Which, what that'll do is it'll set the passive radiators out just a little bit. Um, it's going to make them stick out about an eighth of an inch. I'm not too worried about that. But what it's also going to do is space them enough so that they do not interfere with the driver, the active driver. <clears throat> so I'm ready to go ahead and put this thing back together. And then after that, we're going to move it into the theater and see what it can do. We are in the theater putting these together. Got the brand new passive radiators here, third brand new passive radiator here. I've decided not to cut that rod short, but I am going to take the wing nut off because I kind of suspect that the wing nut was what bumped the driver and uh, might have caused all the commotion inside of there. And let me show you what's going on here. I'm going to lay this thing down. I'll tell you what, this driver popped those other passive radiators like a balloon. This thing is rated at 20 millimeters. I'm pretty sure that's one way because, boy, this thing has some excursion and it did just fine. It was not damaged. <laughs> okay, now, if you look at this, you put it in. If I can get this one in with one hand. Okay, not sure what's going on there. I wonder if the new ones are a different size or something, but that is not setting in. I will look into this. Yeah, I'm just looking into this. This is a different style. If you look at the style that I used last time, it slants in a little bit. You can see that. I guess, I don't know if they changed the style up a little bit or what. That thing is near perpendicular to the speaker and it is not fitting in the pre-cut holes. Just, yeah, it just doesn't go in. Doesn't sit in there right. Sometimes you need both hands. I mean, the hole is the hole is the right size. Just trying to get this figured out. Oh man, what if we ran these inverted? That would actually be really cool. Do they fit? Do they all fit? No clearance problems. Oh man. I'm going to test them inverted. This is... The wheels in my head are turning. Also, I had a commenter mention that the correct word is not subsonic. And we want to go below the hearing range, but we don't want to do it subsonic. We want to do infrasonics. Subsonics means that it's too quiet to hear. Infrasonics means that you still have good authority below the hearing range. So, we're going infrasonic with this thing. Passive radiator number one is secure. I don't know, what do you guys think? New nickname? The Robo Sub. Obviously, speaker covers are no longer going to work in this application, but I don't know. I think it looks sort of cool. Maybe not quite as marketable. Let's get the other two in there and see how it looks. Also, look at all the interior volume that we've opened up. I'd much rather those beautiful cones be facing outward, but it is what it is.
What do you think? Kind of an industrial look, but not bad. <laughs> not what I expected this build to turn into. Three passive radiators. Uh, very easy to tune them now. Uh, still not huge. I mean, you want huge, there you go. That's huge. No. 81 by 28 by 48 inches. That's 56 cubic feet right there. This, maybe three and a half. I think we gained probably about a third of a cubic foot just by inverting those things. So, we'll see how that goes. Let me get the amp on, let's test these things. Now for the moment that you've all been waiting for. It is time to test this thing. Three passive radiators, inverted. The tuning discs are right out where you can get to them. So all it takes, one of these, and in, oh, about maybe a minute. In fact, I'll put this, I'll put that part on video so you can see how fast it is to, to tune this thing. get a time lapse this because I want you to see how fast this is. We may have invented a new concept, inverted passive radiators. I mean, look at these things. You can change those discs in under a minute. That's all three of them. You can literally change your tuning. I timed myself, 56 seconds. Pretty crazy. And I'm not totally put off by the way this thing looks. So, I mean, yeah, it's different, but Different doesn't have to be bad. I'm going to cut it off there. Thank you very much. Appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. Remember, if you build it and it's cool, that's a righteous build. See you later, guys.